Thanks. Well, it's the last week to check out a Halloween themed exhibit at the Imagination Station, and that's where we go to live now with NBC 24 reporter Elise Chingari. Elise, what do you have now? Hi, Stephanie, that's right. We're here with Spooky Science. Now, it started October 1st, and it ends this Saturday. So if you haven't seen it, come out and check it out. We're here joined by Jeff at Imagination Station. Thank you again for joining us. Oh, of course. Um, and we are doing some really cool spooky science activity right now. We are actually gonna be working with some dry ice. As you can see, I have a ginormous, big 50 pound block of it you right here. You told me not to touch it, it's you super cold. It. I'm wearing some special uh, gloves that are made for touching cold items. Um, and so you don't actually wanna touch this stuff if it's ever in your home for some reason, if you're doing something with spooky science at home with the stuff, you don't wanna touch it with your bare hands, all right? Cause it can be rather cold. But we're gonna be doing a little bit of science with this. So what I put in here is I put a little bit of a universal indicator and what it does is it detects uh, acids and bases. So it'll turn a bright color. And this is super hot water, this you said. This is really, really hot water, and this is some really cold dry ice. It's actually negative 109 degrees below zero. Okay, I'm not touching anything on this table. Yes, just don't worry about it. So <laughs> if I put a little bit in here, I think that they got a good shot oh, of that. Oh, very cool. You can see that it actually changes to this bright, vibrant orange color. I'll put another piece in there just because. And what that's actually showing is that my water is getting acidic. It's like the new browns orange. Yes, like the new browns <laughs> orange, yes, exactly. Um, but my water is actually getting really, really acidic. And this is actually a huge problem um, for the environment because uh, dry ice is 100% carbon dioxide. It's just carbon dioxide. And so this is kind of showing what happens when carbon dioxide gets into our atmosphere mm -hmm. and then leaks into our oceans. It actually makes our oceans acidic, which is really bad for fish, coral reefs, things like that. That's so, what I love about these experiments. You learn so much as well. I know, it's really great. But, you know, as much as it is fun to learn about, you know, acidic oceans and things like that, what I also like to do is I like to just have kind of some fun with science. And that's the thing at Imagination Station. Science doesn't have to always be about serious textbooks and things like that. We actually get to do a lot of really fun stuff here. And so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make a bubble out of some dry ice. Let me see if I can do this. Do you believe, do you believe in me? You're you gonna believe? do it, Jeff. You're gonna, I'm gonna do it? You're gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Ah. So this is our super <laughs> ultimate bubble recipe you can find on our website. It's incredibly durable, but we're actually filling it with um, carbon dioxide smoke that's coming off. It's sublimating off of that solid it's dry like ice. It's like a perfect bubble. I know, isn't, isn't it great? And then eventually, if we wait, it will maybe, hopefully in time, <laughs> pop. <laughs> And isn't that just so much fun? Very cool. Isn't that great? So science doesn't, you know, we learn a lot of great science about acidity and ocean levels and things like that with dry ice, but you know, we, we have fun with it too, you know what I mean? So it's a really great experience here when we're doing this and it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Very nice. And if you want to check it out, this is going on at the Imagination Station until this Saturday. So come on out and check out Spooky Science. Live reporting for NBC24 News, I'm Elise Chingari. Now, speaking of Halloween, here is a complete list of trick-or-treat times.